Welcome to episode 12 of Storytime with Mrs. O'Donnell. Today I'm going to be reading you Olivia by Ian Falconer. This was the very first Olivia book. Um, some of you may know this already, but I always tell everyone, Ian Falconer is cousin to one of our teachers in our school. Um, and the other uh, Olivia book that I plan on reading you is actually autographed by Ian Falconer. Um, Miss Manka is cousin to Ian Falconer. So um, I just want to interject a little bit um, here because behind me, the Casco Bay Bridge is about to go up. So you may hear a lot of tooting. Those are the tugboats that are going to help a shipping vessel through this drawbridge. You may actually hear the horn that goes off so the cars stop and the drawbridge goes up. Kind of cool to watch. Um, and I get to see that usually on a daily basis up here. So Olivia. This is Olivia. She is good at lots of things. She is very good at wearing people out. Look at her hammering and running and jumping and playing with the yo-yo and crying and stirring and jumping again. She even wears herself out. Olivia has a little brother named Ian. He's always copying what he's done. She's put lipstick on. Look at those shoes. They must be mom's. Sometimes Ian just won't leave her alone. So Olivia has to be firm. Olivia lives with her mother, her father, her brother, her dog Perry, and Edwin, the cat. In the morning, after she gets up, and moves the cat, and brushes her teeth, and combs her ears, and moves the cat. <laughs> Olivia gets dressed. She has to try on everything. You can tell here her favorite color is red. So here she's in a dress and a sweater and sneakers and a bathing suit and just headphones and mittens. Here she's got on lovely black stockings, but she's got both legs in one leg. A bathing suit, very nice sunglasses. Looks like a ball gown. Just a red backpack. Very nice. On sunny days, Olivia likes to go to the beach. She feels it's important to come prepared. Last summer, when Olivia was little, her mother showed her how to make sand castles. She got pretty good. Look at the sand castle. Sometimes Olivia likes to bask in the sun. When her mother sees that she's had enough, they go home. Now here she is without her bathing suit on. Look at how sunburned she is. Every day, Olivia is supposed to take a nap. It's time for your you-know-what, her mother says. She doesn't look very happy. Of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. On rainy days, Olivia likes to go to the museum. She heads straight for her favorite picture. And this is a picture by Degas who was famous for painting lots and lots of ballerinas. Olivia looks at it for a long time. What could she be thinking? Look what she's thinking. She's thinking she's on the stage as a ballerina. But there is one painting Olivia just doesn't get. I could do that in about five minutes, she says to her mother. This is a very famous Jackson Pollock, he's the artist. As soon as she gets home, she gives it a try. Where is she painting? Oh no. Time out. She's covered in paint. After 
there a nice bath? Look at her footprints going in. And a nice dinner. It's time for bed. But of course, Olivia's not at all sleepy. Only five books tonight, Mommy, she says. No, Olivia, just one. How about four? Two. Three? Oh, all right, three. But that's it. When they finished reading, Olivia's mother gives her a kiss and says, you know, you really wear me out, but I love you anyway. And Olivia gives her a kiss back and says, I love you anyway, too. Dreaming about Maria Callas, an opera singer, a very famous opera singer. I hope you've enjoyed this Olivia. Stay tuned for another Olivia story by Ian Falconer. Thank you for joining me.